this video, I want to talk about horizontal transformations to graphs. We've seen other types of horizontal movements. When we replace the variable on the inside of the function with one involving addition or subtraction of a positive constant c, we get a horizontal translation. So for example, if on the inside of the function I replace x with x plus c, I get a shift of the function left c units. And if on the inside of the function I replace x with x minus c, I get a shift to the right C units. Now we can also do other horizontal transformations of the graph. For example, if I replace x with C times x, I get a compression or stretch of the graph horizontally. In other words, it's like a rubber band being pulled uh, in the sideways direction. If I replace x with negative x, this reflects the function horizontally over the y-axis. It's like a door being open or closed. Once again, I'll remind you that translations are just a subset of transformations where we shift the graph up, down, left, or right. In this case, we're talking about horizontal, so left or right. Transformations are stretches, compressions, reflections, and translations. Let's take a look at a few examples to see what this all means. We're going to start with the graph of f of x equals, in parentheses, x plus 2, and that quantity is squared. That's a parabola with a vertex at negative 2 comma 0 and points at negative 1, 1, negative 3, 1, and 0, 4. It's a parabola that opens up. We want to graph g of x equals f of, in parentheses, 2x. Now we're doing a replacement. So what we're going to do is replace the x in f of x with 2x. What that's going to look like is open parentheses, 2x plus 2, close the parentheses, squared. So we've replaced what was x with 2x. Let's go over to Desmos and take a look at what that does. Here we have the graph of f of x. And now let's include the graph of g of x. It looks like the graph has been shifted horizontally, but a horizontal translation would have exactly the same width and height. And our new graph, in this case, looks like it's been squished horizontally. Let's take a look at the perspective of this new graph from the x values of the old graph. So for example, on f of x, we had a point at negative 2 comma 0. On g of x, we have a point at negative 1 comma 0. So that's exactly half of the value of x. On f of x, we had a point at negative 3 comma 1. On g of x, we have a point at negative 1.5 comma 1. That's exactly half of the value of 3. What we're actually seeing is that every x value has been multiplied by one half. We've compressed the graph horizontally by a factor of two. Let's go draw that. The value of three comma one becomes a value of 1.5 comma one. The value of negative one comma one becomes a point at negative 0.5 comma 1. Negative 2 comma 0 becomes negative 1 comma 0. The point 0 comma 4 is still the point 0 comma 4 because when we multiply the x value of 0 by 1 half we still get 0. And then finally the value of negative 4 comma 4 becomes the value of negative 2 comma 4 multiplying negative 4 by 1 half. So the new parabola is a squished version horizontally of the old one. In fact, we could say that we have compressed f horizontally by a factor of 2. It's twice as narrow as it used to be. Practically speaking, we've multiplied every x value by 1 half. All right, well now there's one for you to try. We're going to do the opposite thing now. So you're going to start with this same graph of f of x equals in parentheses x plus 2 and then out of the parentheses squared. 
you are given h of x equals f of, in parentheses, 1 half x, and then close the parentheses. And the question is, what does that graph look like in comparison to f of x? What effect does replacing x with 1 half x have on the function? So pause the video and give this a try. All right, we're back. The first thing we're going to do is write out what this new function is. So we're doing f of, in parentheses, 1 half x. We're replacing the x in f of x with 1 half x. So what we have is open parentheses, 1 half x plus 2, close the parentheses, squared. We've replaced x with 1 half x. Let's go to Desmos and see what that looks like. Got that graph of a parabola here in Desmos, and I'm going to include the graph of g of x. Again, you might think at first that this is a horizontal translation, a movement left or right, but for it to be a translation, the graph has to have the exact same width and height that it used to, and it doesn't now. The graph of this new parabola is wider than the graph of the old parabola. How much wider? Well, let's take a look at a couple points and see. We had a point on f of x of negative 4 comma 4. On g of x, we now have a point at negative 8 comma 4. So the same height, but twice the x value. On f of x, there was a point at negative 3 comma 1. And now there's a point at negative 6 comma 1. Again, we've multiplied the x value by 2. Let's go ahead and graph it. Notice that the y-intercept of 0 comma 4 is still 0 comma 4. And that's because when we multiply 0 by 2, it's still 0. Let's go back and sketch this ourselves. So taking every point, we're going to leave the vertical coordinate, the y value, alone, and we're going to double the x coordinate. So starting out with 0 comma 4, that's still 0 comma 4, because 0 times 2 is 0. The point negative 1 comma 1, we multiply our x value by 2, so that becomes negative 2 comma 1. The point negative 2 comma 0, multiply the x value by 2, that becomes negative 4 comma 0. The point negative 3 comma 1, multiply the x value by 2, and that becomes negative 6 comma 1. So we have enough here to now sketch in a graph of this parabola. In reference to the original parabola, we would say that this new graph is stretched horizontally. It's like we've taken the rubber band and pulled it out horizontally. We can write that we've stretched f horizontally by a factor of 2. In other words, we've multiplied every x value by 2. Now, just like with other horizontal transformations that we've seen, these horizontal transformations seem intuitively a little bit like they're all backwards. When we replace x with 2x, we actually compress the graph. So we bring the graph, it's like we're releasing the rubber band. We compress the graph by a factor of 2. Likewise, when we replace x with 1 half x, we would imagine that we'd bring it in, but actually we go the opposite way. We stretch f horizontally by a factor of 2. This is why it's so important that when you do these horizontal transformations that you check your answers. Your intuition can easily be backwards if you're not careful. Don't get overconfident. Always check.